What is good YouTube? It's your boy Gary, aka in Gary We Trust. Come at you guys again with another video discussing reselling prices. I'm basically in this video, I'm gonna be telling y'all a couple sneakers, nine and ten sneakers that I will never pay resale for. I just want to start the video off by saying sneakers are only worth of what a dumbass is willing to pay. And it's, we got that out the way. Oh, and another thing I want to get out the way. Before I, I already hear y'all typing, yes, I am wearing a Kentucky shirt with a Florida Marlins hat. Yes. See? The colors go well together. Oh well, I said it already before you can comment on it. So let's get straight into the video. Alright, so the first sneaker that I'm going to be talking about, about a shoe that I will never pay resale for, is the Nike Dunk SB Low Strange Love. Oh, no. Now, this shoe is currently going for, I'm checking all these prices on StockX by the way, it was last sold in my size for $1,016 and the current asking price is $1,017. So, someone has really paid, actually a lot of people are paying $1,000 for this shoe. Now, just to like get my rant off quickly on this particular sneaker, I feel like a lot of people didn't really care for it. I feel like Instagram really hyped up this sneaker and kind of the rest of all dunk lows. Let's just say that this sneaker, if it came out two years ago, it would be sitting in a skate shop. Literally, no one would want it. For, by the way, the materials on this sneaker is actually, I feel like one wear, this sneaker is already damaged and ruined. You step in grass, oh, this shoe is completely done. But yeah, $1,000, I will definitely keep my money. I didn't even try to go for the release. Maybe, the, I guess they're limited, which is going to be with a lot of these sneakers and why they go for so much. But yeah, I will definitely won't be spending $1,000 on this sneaker, especially for a shoe that retailed $100. All right, now the second sneaker that I will never be paying resale for is the Air Jordan 1 Shattered Backboard 2.0. Now, the main reason why I will never pay resale for this sneaker is because I remember like two, three years ago when my homie Synovian, shout out to Synovian by the way, um, he actually posted this sneaker in my size for $180, I want to say. $180, I believe they were dead stock, all right? Or if tried on. Now, the la these shoes were actually last sold for $880, and the current asking price is $1,000. I'm just going to say, yes, I was sleeping back then, but since the fact that someone actually bought this shoe for $200 and now they're asking for $1,000, they this sneaker will never be in my collection. Well, actually, who knows? Maybe in the future I become a rapper or just a bankroll is looking really nice in the future, but this sneaker will never be in my collection. <laughs> this Air Jordan right here is definitely never going in my collection. Unless the bankroll is looking pretty, pretty nice. This sneaker right here was last sold for $3,000 I'm sorry, $3, and $330 in my size. The sneaker I'm talking about is the Air Jordan 1 Fragment. And the current asking price is $4,500 for this sneaker. Now, just visibly, just like visually looking at this sneaker, what is exciting about this sneaker? I know, like, because the only thing is, this shoe is, it's, it's decent, but it, nothing screams, like, $4,000, $5,000 shoes. And I'm like, just because of that little fragment sign, people are dropping $4,000 for this shoe. Let that sink in. Let that sink in. I remember when the Air Jordan 1 Blue Moons, which are now going for $500, by the way. That's a shoe we gotta talk about. Because I was thinking about buying that sneaker, but, but for some reason, I'm like, you know what? I already have my Royal Blue Ones. I know I would never wear that sneaker. And now that shoe goes for $500, because I remember when that sneaker came out in stores, nobody wanted it. Nobody wanted it. But you know what? All the hatred is going to this fragment. Like, people really dropped $4,000 on this shoe. Yeah. Not I. Huh. <laughs> this is a good one, too. One sneaker I would never, <laughs> never, never, <laughs> never spend my money on is the Air Nike Air Force One Travis Scott Low the all white pair. Oh, oh, I already know, I already hear y'all typing. Trust me, yes, I know. I have <laughs> the sale pair. The sale pair. But hold on, hold on. We're gonna get to this one right here. Alright. So the current asking price is fifteen hundred dollars for a pair my size and a pair was last sold for thirteen hundred dollars for an all white Air Forces. Keep in mind an all white Air Forces one thing, yes, this sneaker is pretty cool. It does come with a bunch of Nike swooshes, and it has like the Astro World Travis Scott themes, like the Cactus Jack logos and stuff. I get it, but for some reason, these sneakers get dirty with literally no effort. I looked at this sneaker, and there was already a dirt stain, like literally. 
I wore this to, um, which was my fault. I wore this to an outdoor event, which wasn't even a lot of grass or any dirt or anything, but it was just outside. I get home, there's stains all over the shoe. I don't even know how. I literally don't know how. I don't know if my camera can see it. Even though the shoe visibly looks looks great, it's just this sneaker gets dirty so so quickly. And literally, I want to wear this sneaker, but I just I just know it's gonna get destroyed. So I'm actually in the process of selling this shoe right now. And uh, yeah, fifteen hundred dollars for an all white Air Forces. Yeah, not me. Yeah, this sneaker right here. I don't care how limited. I don't care of how. I don't care what the story is. This sneaker. <sighs> <laughs> the sneaker I'm actually talking about is the Nike Craft Mars Yard 2.0. Yes, the second I, I said that name of that sneaker, I'm pretty sure a lot of sneakers will be like, whoa, 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 what? What? How are you saying you don't, you will never pay for that sneaker? Yeah, because <laughs> the current asking price for the shoe is $4,546, and the last pair sold for in my size was $3,400. This sneaker literally looks like a workout sneaker. Yeah, yeah. I know y'all probably gonna be salty after this video, but I'm sorry, I don't care how good the story is. Y'all really dropping $4,500 for this shoe? You really are. You really are. This shoe is equivalent to a free run. I don't care if like the design is based off the first Nike model, yeah, this and that, but like y'all really gonna persuade me to drop $4,500 on this shoe. This shoe right here. I even contemplated on buying the um the overshoe, but even that alone is like around six, seven hundred dollars, and I'm like, and I actually have to put in work to cut off the netting off that sneaker. So yeah, this shoe obviously is just not not for me. If you got the money, go by all means, go ahead, go ahead. But remember, this sneaker is forty five hundred dollars. All right, I'm let that sit. I'm let that I'm let that sink in. All right, with these two sneakers, I'm really just gonna post both on the screen. It's the the, the Dior Chuck Taylor lookalike, and then the Dior Jordan ones. Like I said, if you got the money, go ahead. But I recommend that designer sneakers never ever hold their value literally every time you buy a designer sneaker you basically are going to pay lower than retail unless it's the, obviously the air jordan they retail two thousand but they're selling for ten thousand uh, dollars literally if you work a regular nine to five and you have a pair of air jordan diors that you casually wear you need to get your priority straight bro you really need to get your priority straight okay so scrolling down stock x this one really blew my mind <laughs> This sneaker is the Air Jordan 1 Chicago, the 2013 pair with the Jordan, <laughs> with the Jordan on the tongue oh, and on the back. No. The current, the last, the last pair sold was $888 in my size. The current asking price is $1,134. Oh no. So y'all really gonna sit here and tell me and justify of paying over $1,000 for Air Jordan 1 mid. Oh no! Oh no! I'm waiting for someone to justify you, you spending a thousand dollars for an Air Jordan One Mid. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. On to the next shoe. All right, with this sneaker right here, it is a really beautiful sneaker. But the fact that I could have, I had literally a chance to buy it for retail, and now it goes for almost a thousand dollars. Yeah, I can't. I, I can't justify me paying the resale for it. The sneaker I'm talking about is the Air Force One. Kith collab linen really really beautiful sneaker in case you guys didn't know this shoe was actually the Nike Air Yeezy was based the the net net pair was based on this sneaker really really beautiful shoe um to come to think of it I just the reason why I didn't pick it up I believe I had to work that morning and I live in Palm Beach Florida and the Kith is actually in Miami it would have been almost a two-hour drive with traffic and back uh yeah and I was like you know what I'm not really a big Air Force guy, I'm going to let this sit, and by the way, when this sneaker released, it was actually a brick. These were, you literally couldn't sell these for over 200 bucks. The Kiths. I'm not paying resale for these shoes, unfortunately. And the very last sneaker I'm going to rant about for a little bit is the Air Force One All White. The Supreme collab. Oh no! <laughs> the last pair sold for $334 for an All White Air Force with a little Supreme Box logo on the corner. So someone really spent $330 on an all-white Air Force that they can pick up in your local Foot Locker, Finish Line, any sneaker store for $90. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. And what makes it even worse, resale shops are actually selling this shoe for $400 and people are buying them. The power of Supreme. Whew. 
you know what, to each his own. If you like it, I love it. All right, now this is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed my little rants on these sneakers. Just sneakers that, obviously all of them are pretty nice sneakers. It's just, there's some sneakers out there that's just not worth the hype. I know hype brings a lot of money to sneakers, but I'm just saying that there's a, definitely a lot of options besides spending $1,000 and plus on these certain sneakers. That's all I'm saying. And I'm gonna end the video here by saying, like I said in the beginning, sneakers are only worth of what a dumbass is willing to pay for. So, yeah. Hope that resonates with y'all. It's your boy Gary, aka In Gary We Trust. And I'm out. Follow me on Instagram at In Gary We Trust. Love you guys. Be out there. Stay safe. And I'm out. Later.